Hi right, guys, um, it's time, it's that time again, it's another beer review and it's a bit of a bittersweet beer review this one, um, sweet because it's beer guys, um, bitter because this is the last beer that I have from the Potbelly Brewery, so um, it's kind of like saying goodbye to an old friend in, in, in a funny kind of way but it won't be by for long because I'm obviously got the competition running um, I'm not going to go into that in a review video but um, it does mean I should be popping back to the Potbelly and I should be picking up some beers for my own consumption then so I don't suppose it's all that bad so uh, yeah the beer that I'm reviewing today is called Yellow Belly um, I'll stick a picture of the label up on the opening of the video like I have done with the others and just like the others I'm going to read out the label so uh, we all know what's going on. Um, please pour carefully, avoid disturbing any sediment for a clear glass of beer. It's, uh, obviously it's bottle conditioned which is a home brewer, um, I've said it in all the videos that I've made with you in these beers, it is quite comforting and for me simply because you know that's how we condition well, that's how most of us condition our beers so it's kind of good to know that um, some of the commercial brewers out there are still using those old-fashioned ways of doing it not old-fashioned ways but still you know they're, they're still bottle conditioning a bit so that's good um, it's situated in Kettering Northamptonshire commenced brewing in early 2005 with a view to produce a range of quality real ales using only the best traditional malts and hops in our brewing process enables us to brew high quality ale with consistency. Our beers are popular throughout the Midlands and have been enjoyed at various beer festivals throughout the country. They have achieved numerous awards, um, many for beer of the festival. Um, it describes this as a strong golden beer refreshing with a hint of citrus fruit. So, Let's pop the top guys and uh, let's see what this, this is all about. Oh, so there's a bit of a hiss there. Um, not too much smoke coming off that. Let's give this a pour and see how this pours. So already I can see it's going to be a lovely light golden, golden nail. Um, it looks pretty clear actually from, I'll just put a bit of fizz in that, see if we can get ahead, that'll do, and I'll leave the rest at the bottom for the yeast, so yeah, it's a nice one finger head, um, I'm not going to try the cap, it's a very light golden colour, um, some few bubbles rising from the carbonation there, um, Again, you know, I've sort of said it in they, the, the beers aren't all overly carbonated at Pot Belly, um, but it suits their style well, and there's certainly enough carbonation in there. Um, you should be able to see my fingers through that. It's certainly clear from my end, though the glass is looking a bit uh, cloudy now. Um, but that's condensation, it's a hot day. Um, I mean, that's bound to happen. Um, Mm. That's a lovely creamy cap, um, and straight away you can you can taste the citrus on that. Um, I suppose really I should give that the sniff test. Actually, I forgot that. So yeah, very fruity. Um, you can certainly um, pick up the. I don't know if that. I wouldn't like to say that that is specifically grapefruit, but it's, it's a very fruity aroma. Um, now I've seen it mentioned on another site because I always do a bit of research before reviewing these beers. Someone said um, it's almost like a, a lemon curd. I'm, I mean I can see where they're coming, fro coming from but I wouldn't have said lemon curd myself. Mm. So that's, that's a, a dry a dry beer. Um, 
Oh, mm, that's, that is, I can, I can see now um, why this one's won so many awards. That is quite a nice beer, guys. Um, so, there's a bitterness in the beginning. Very citrusy. You know the flavours. In, the flavours that are intended are definitely there. That that's quite strong. That's really nice. And there's a bitter finish. It's not a very harsh um, bitter finish, but certainly as that goes and hits the back of the tongue, it it lingers. It's not unpleasant. It's very nice actually. Um, did I say how strong that was? No, I didn't. Five point two percent. Um, yeah, I could see myself enjoying a few of these. Um, right, sorry about that, guys. Misses on the phone, you know what it's like. Oh. So, um, can't quite remember what I've said about uh, the beer now. Um, the cap is, it's thinned down, but it's still there, it's staying strong. Um, a little bit of lacing, if, if you like your lacing. Um, to be honest, I think I'm going to end this review by saying I could see myself drinking quite a few of these very, very happily. I can see why it's a, an award winning beer. It's conditioned up very nice. Um, the citrusy aroma and the citrusy flavours are there. Um, I'm not too sure about the hops. Um, maybe, um, I'm going to be honest, my nose isn't working fantastic, I can pick up the citrus, but because of the hay fever, it's not working fantastically well. Maybe, maybe, I'm not picking up too much of the hops, if I'm honest, um, but that is probably just, just me and my sniffer. So, um, I guess that's it guys, I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to go and enjoy this beer. Um, I'd like to say, you know, thank you so much to the Potbelly Brewery. You invited me in, you let me take part in a brew day. Um, you very, very kindly gave me these beers to review. I certainly hope um, I've done a good job. I've certainly tried to be honest and give it as balanced an amateur review as I possibly could, because I am still very amateur at this. Um, but uh, anyone that's been watching these videos, anyone that's seen the brewery visit, um, you really should, you know, just go check them out, have a look, maybe try some of their beers. I know you can get them online um, from various online beer retailers. Um, they're a really, really good quality brewery. They're very friendly, you know, couldn't have been nicer to me anyway. And uh, guys, you know, I'll see you soon um, when we do the competition. Cheers, guys. That's a nice beer. Thank you very much. <laughs>